good evening. You're all at Lucy at his party, and I'm sitting here in the labs at uh, King's College London. And um, I just want to say to everybody, and particularly to Lucy, Atty, and her team, thank you so much for what you are doing for raising money for Crohn's disease research. This is not one of those occasions when the results of the research might make things a bit better in 10 years' time. Uh, they will make things better in two years' time if we can get the necessary resources together. What you're doing tonight is a big contribution to this, and, and thank you very much again indeed. There are two things we've got which are special. The first is there's never been a test for map infection in humans that's worked. And I've made one. It's taken me about five years. Uh, the last three have been particularly tough. But the critical monoclonal antibody reagents, as they're called, which are needed to get this into the clinic, are now coming thick and fast. And we should have this, or the laboratory development of this, finished uh, by the end of the summer. August, September. And then we will be entering a new phase when we start doing big clinical trials of it. And as Jeremy Sanderson, the gastroenterologist in the group that I work closely with here, uh, tells me that when you, people with Crohn's disease and their families, and they, gastroenterologists and people uh, looking after you, see that you can get a MAP test done that it's very accurate, it's very precise, and it tells you what proportion of white cells in the blood are carrying MAP, and it can tell you quantitatively how much MAP there is in your insides. That will revolutionize the understanding of Crohn's disease because it will be perfectly obvious that this beastly MAP organism that can cause so much trouble, the same kind as Crohn's disease, in so many different animals, including primates, is, of course, doing the same thing to people. Now, the next thing, of course, is, okay, so your MAP test is positive and you've got Crohn's disease, what can we do about it? Well, these MAP organisms come from the soil. They are very difficult to kill. But I made uh, a modern vaccine to treat MAP infection in Crohn's disease. And I did it with Tim Bull at St. George's Hospital for many years, and also in association with scientists, uh, particularly Sarah Gilbert at the Geno Vaccine Institute in, in Oxford, uh, and they've been a wonderful contribution to the work. What we have is modern therapeutic vaccine that can be used to treat established affections like Crohn's disease. And in a three-year study in cattle, it has given us fantastic results. And because I've been looking at the results of the test, and I can see the mat bugs in humans just as I can see them in, in animals, I know that if the vaccine does the same thing to humans as it's done to cattle, it will turn Crohn's disease on its head. So I don't want to go to on too long, guys, because I know there's a party about to happen. But it all, it's all down to money now. The technology is there. If we've got the welly behind it, we'll get the job done. So have a terrific evening, everybody. Give as generously as you can. And thanks so much, Western Australia, where Ellie and I, my wife and I, had such a wonderful time just before Christmas, stay, staying with Simon and Sue's Rivers. Um, just south of Perth. It was a lot of fun and we really enjoyed Western Australia. Good night.